Finally, we can talk about a green tennis string that is not Selenko Hyper-G. You know what else we can talk about? Hitting that like, subscribe, and that notification bell for more original tennis content. This four-sided tennis string had a very slick feeling when stringing it off, although the edges were not nearly as protruding as the Selenko strings that I've reviewed on this channel so far. You can definitely feel the sides. As a stringer, I absolutely appreciate it because it didn't cut up my hands like most shaped polys do. This string required no break-in period, a welcome attribute considering it's only four-sided, and for the very first few hits, you can definitely tell this is not at all like the Selenko Hyper-G. There was decent pop and power from all parts of the baseline and racket. The launch angle was very predictable, and even the miss weren't too bad at all. I also really appreciated the slices with this string. The slices were comfortable, unlike some other polys, and also had enough power and the ball stayed low throughout its flight path. I will admit though, I wish it had some more tops and potential from this string. Yes, it did absolutely have some tops and potential, but for a four-sided poly, I never felt like this ball could bite and dip down into my opponent's baseline unexpectedly. Although this was a softer feeling four-sided, and the ball dwells on the string bed really well for a shape poly, I never really felt connected to the ball. I think it's because of the slick material that Toraline has coated Wasabi with. The ball impact never felt crisp like it normally does with my Selenko Tour Bite setup. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, this is a really good string for flattening out ground strokes. Enough power, but not too much power, to flatten out those approach shots. At the net, this was also a comfortable polyester. The touch shots, like drop volleys and short angle volleys, were definitely a pleasure. The stick volleys had two problems, though. First, they sailed a little bit too long for the first few minutes. It would take a lot of adjusting to. Second, the disconnected feeling was still apparent on the stick volleys. Serves were a little bit more of a different story for this string. The flat serves, thankfully, didn't have the disconnected feeling like it does at the baseline of the net. Also, the flat serves were fantastically accurate in both placement and speed. The kick serves were pretty average, so no complaints there. But the shining attribute of the string is the slice serve, specifically the slice serve on the deuce side. The amount of aces I have hit on the deuce side with the slice serves were absolutely astounding. Not only did the slice serve move really well throughout the air and after the bounce, but I was able to confidently take the ball and land it short in the deuce side service box to take the opponent way off the court or even for an ace. After four hours of straight hitting with this string, the tension dropped from 49 pounds to 41, a pretty normal drop tension for a shape poly. But what amazes me about the wasabi is that after those four hours, I kept hitting for an additional five hours as of the recording of this video, and the strings have still not broken. Some people may consider this a negative because people want to be forced to restring a racket, but I view it as a positive because the tension drop isn't anything drastic even after eight or nine hours of straight hitting. It didn't feel any different. I normally don't do comparisons because I believe each string is unique to the feel for me or for you as a tennis player, but I gotta compare this to the Selenko Hyper-G because they have similar attributes and they also look very similar. I will, I will quickly summarize it, don't worry. The Wasabi sits somewhere between the Hyper-G and the Hyper-G Soft. And honestly, at $12 a packet or under $10 a packet with a specific code I'll get to in a second, Selenko Hyper-G users should really give this a try if they want a more durable string with a slight compromise on tops and potential and with a more comfortable feel to boot, although there is a slightly disconnected feeling in my opinion. And if you want to save money, check out the Torline website linked in the description below or use Mark S or Mark's on discount <laughs> to get 20% off, not just Wasabi strings, but for all things in Torline. And yes, it does help out this channel. This code might be a little bit of a departure from previous string videos I've done in the past, but I'll explain this in a later video. Have you tried the Wasabi? If so, did I nail the review completely on the head or did I miss it completely? Leave a comment down in the section below or better yet, join the conversation in Discord where there's over 1,700 people that are talking about all things tennis and Camila Georgi. This string review was with my Yonex E-Zone DR98, originally strung at 49 pounds. And as always guys and gals, happy hitting.